astonishing what can happen. Explosive volcanic eruptions caused by mixing magmas. Becky Oskin on Live Science reports. This is a, an image of uh, an astronaut taking photograph of Las Canderas volcano and caldera. That was the eruption of June 8th of 2006. This is by NASA Johnson Space Center. The meteorologists knowing, know that mixing cold air and warm air triggers powerful thunderstorms. Well, now geologists discover a similar phenomenon takes place and works beneath one of Europe's most hazardous volcanoes. And it's uh, active now, of course. It's uh, off of the coast of uh, North Africa and Spain in the Atlantic Ocean. The last Canada's volcano, the island of Tenerife, near Spain. All those volcanoes there, the Canary Islands, are all those islands are volcanic islands. Now, this Las Canadas volcano of Tenerife last exploded about 170,000 years ago, and geologists say it's due for another eruption. Researchers believe they've identified what happens in the volcano's magma chamber just prior to such a massive eruption which could help scientists predict the next blast before it happens. A new study into the volcano reveals that pre-eruption mixing within the magma chamber, where the older, cooler magma mixed with the younger, hotter magma, is what triggered three previous large-scale eruptions there. The mixing is like putting a red-hot rock into a cup of coffee. This is what one study author said, Rex Tyler of the University of Southampton, Southampton in uh, Britain. The researchers made their find by analyzing crystal cumulate models, igneous rocks formed by the accumulation of crystals in the magma, in deposits from prior eruptions. The nodules provide a record of the changes in the magma chamber until the moment the volcano erupted. Rims of crystals in the nodules grew from very different magma, indicating a major mixture, mixing event occurred immediately before the eruption, Taylor said. Now that the volcano's trigger is known, monitoring changes in the magma chamber could help volcanologists predict a coming eruption. Las Canadas, also called Mount Tade, is one of the 16 decade volcanoes identified for study by the United Nations because of the volcano's history of destructive, destructive eruptions and its proximity, of course, to populated areas. Not to say that it's so close to, to Europe. The volcano has, can you imagine this volcanic ash, something like what would happen with Yellowstone being uh, blown east towards Europe, what would happen? I mean, the extent of Yellowstone's ash over the United States, the continent of the United States, wiping that out, would be the same effect over all of Europe. Now, the volcano has frequently small lava flows every 100 years. Large explosions happen about every 100,000 years. These eruptions spew ash 15 miles, 25 kilometers into the air, and collapse the volcano into a caldera, sending pyrocastic flows, pyroclastic flows, P flows, clouds of flowing hot gas and debris across the island, which has more than 200,000 inhabitants. The big blast expels more than 25 times more material than the 2010 eruption of the Iceland volcano, and prevailing winds would normally take the ash out over the Atlantic or back, depending which way the, the wind flows, of course, which way the wind blows, either out to the Atlantic to the west or east towards uh, covering Europe. Taylor told Our Amazing Planet in an email. The findings are detailed in the uh, issue of Scientific Report, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. It's on Live Science. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.